everybody says you need a team. Um, you definitely need a team to help you execute. But what people are not talking about is why do you need a team? And I'm going to tell you, even I had to learn this first lesson. And that is because everything that you can do doesn't mean you're supposed to be the one doing it. Just because you know how to in your business doesn't mean those are the tasks that you are supposed to be doing. So while you're over here doing tasks that you're not supposed to be doing, now you're way down, you're tired, you got bottleneck in your business. Why? Because you can't get to the, to the task that you only you can do because you're too busy doing everything. OK, so number one problem with not having a team is you're doing things you're not supposed to do. Think about it this way. As the CEO. You may be making $150 an hour servicing your clients the only way you know how. But because you insist on writing emails, because you insist on sending out uh, the, um, the, the whatever, you know, all these little menial tasks, these administrative tasks that somebody that gets what, get paid $20 an hour for doing, now you have lost $130 an hour because you think that because you're the one that knows to do it, that you have to do it. And that's not true. There are going to be certain things in your business that only you should do, especially starting out. But there are always going to be things in your business that you should not be doing. So that's the why of why you need people and why you need a team. Let me tell you, let's talk about another aspect that a lot of people aren't talking about. And that's the who. Who do you hire first? <laughs> and let me tell you, we entrepreneurs, boy, we love to follow the trend. We love to follow buzzwords. You know, at first it was all about, oh, I'm going to do everything in my business so I can keep all the money because unless I am keeping all the money, I'm not profitable. OK, we already talked about how that's not. The second thing was, oh, my first hire should always be a VA, a virtual assistant. Right. So we've, we've been going through a few years where virtual assistant was the buzzword as who was supposed to be your first hire in your business. Now, within the last, I'll say, year or so, now people are learning about project management. So they think they need a project manager. Oh, I need a project manager in my business to, to be successful. Now also, you know, today may have been the first time you've ever heard the phrase fractional COO, but more and more entrepreneurs are getting into hiring fractional COOs. And so they think that's supposed to be their first hire. And let me tell you what your first hire should be. I don't know. And you don't know either. Why don't you know? Because it depends on your business model and it depends on who you are. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are the parts that only you can do? What are the parts that you don't like to do so you don't show up in excellence in those areas? Those are the types of things that you need to be paying attention to to figure out who do you need to hire first? What can come off your plate the easiest, right? What is something that is standard enough that you can outsource it? to somebody that that's their best in class thing to do. Those are the type of types of things that you need to look at your particular business model to determine who do you need to hire first? Because we as small businesses, we need an, almost an immediate return on our investment. We don't have time to be like these corporate people who hire folks and they spend money training them and then they put them out there and they're giving them 90 days. We don't have the time and we don't have the money for that. So you have to figure out what in your particular business model is, is, is that you need help with. And some of the stuff is going to be, what are your MMAs? What are your money-making activities that are not getting done? What right now, if you had help in your business, could you be making more money? That might need to be the person that you need to hire. Who does that? If you are a technical person, right? I have one client, she's a CEO and she's in the tech space. Well, guess what? An assistant, uh, a project manager, or a COO, none of that should have been her first hire. Her first hire is somebody else that's tech so she can scale her business. If she, everything that comes in, she has to be the one to service, she's not going to get around to doing anything else. And she can't make as much money as she could. How about if you got more techs to help service your clients, then you can pay for the team to do the administrative stuff. So, who you hire in your business first depends on your business. There's no cookie cutter thing out there that's going to work for us small businesses. We're not corporate structured and we're not corporate entities that have the money to waste. We need a return on investment as quickly as possible.